<laughs> oh man, I'm totally screwed. That rocket cycle is just owning me. <laughs> oh yeah, you got pirates. So I, oh man, it is totally owning me. <laughs> what? <Rit? laughs> oh man, it just is up in my face. <laughs> All eight blocks of it. Yeah, with no weapons. Right. Oh, I'm in minus fast. one zero eleven. I'm going to try and get back to minus one one one. Um, so really, I need to get uh, some, something to hold this down. Minus one. What was it again? I'm going to minus one, minus one, one. Okay. And yeah, it looks like Ethor is in. I'm going to get a more accurate speed. Whoa! Got to watch out for those turrets. Yeah, we're cruising along at a hundred and... It's just, see, I've tried to make it. I've made it specifically so that it doesn't quite hit the max speed. Because I found that if you hit the max speed, it just sort of loses all of its speed before... You know, it's like a the burn. You know, you need a lean burn, basically. So, mm. what with this, what I tried to do was balance the mass of the ship with the power of the pulse as best I could. And, right. and thereby achieve, like, a cruise speed which was like 90% and that's what I've got but the difference is you can turn this thing on a pinhead and hit the pulse and you can fly off you know like it's actually really quite quite maneuverable Kind of spacky when it lags out, though. <laughs> yeah, the Second biggest thing that intrigues me about that ship is the way that you've like docked all the module p parts of the ship together. <laughs> yeah, that's the biggest uh, thing that interests me. Oh yeah, what to? Because instead of just building one body, you can build several parts and then dock them together. Yeah. I don't know if the designer of the game had it meant to be that yeah. way, but it seems like when you do it that way, you can get a lot more out of the ship. Not to mention you can then just separate certain parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. It's true. Cause basically, I've got the engine up front, which is the turret. So. Or it's a it's a docked ship anyway, and then there's the turrets obviously, they're replaceable, and the main part of it. Oh, I think I must have collisioned or something. Major lag. Oh no, here it comes. Oh, she's not happy with something. Also, the way that it naturally rotates as well is really good for the turrets, because normally the problem with a turret is that it can't fire up and down. You know, it can't, mm -hmm. it can't turn up and down even. But because they rotate, it kind of covers all the angles. Do you know what I mean? Like, the whole thing's spinning all the time. Like, huh. so they sort of get around the fact that they can't angle down with the fact that they're rotating. I was meaning to ask you, did you ever look at the uh, modified MTX? No, I did. I'm, I'm going to be loading that in soon, though, for sure. I need to finish off this one's sort of prototype. I think I might be. I think I might be. I think I might be there. Actually, this might be it. I can't see it getting any better than this, other than making it maybe a bit stronger, or making the turrets better, or actually making the engine itself better. You know, because there is room for improvement in that. I reckon you could probably get another two crosses in there, but I don't know whether they'd really be beneficial. <clears throat> well, I'm pretty close to the soft limit, so any new cell groups I put in there aren't really giving you much more. Mm -hmm. I'd have to brute force it, and that would add a lot of mass. Let's see where I am now. I'm in minus, minus one... I'm at hang him high. Minus three, one. Damn, I think I went too far. 
Hang on. Oh, there's a turret near me. A pirate turret. Yeah, I just made it to hang him high. 